Honorable the President of India, Sri Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, distinguished guests, Ramakrishna Mission alumni, Ramakrishna Mission alumni, World World uh, Worldwide Alumni Association, my fellow brothers and their families, I welcome you in the Rashtrapati Bhavan to India on behalf of the Honorable President as as well as on behalf of World Wide Ramakrishna Mission Associations. In fact, I was looking for this day for a long time. For a long time. In fact, I am grateful and thankful to our young brother, Mithun, who took all the pain from US and organized this. And another very senior, just one year junior to me, and the, one of the best, brightest student, Jaydeep Mukherjee, on the first row, he was a not only topper, first batch West Bengal, the 10th plus 2 system. Jaydeep, please stand up. He not only stood first, his record marks even as on date. So far, I know that has not been broken. First in 10th as well as 12th. And <coughs> in front of me, all these old boys from Ramakrishna Mission, not only Rahura, others also, senior, junior, but mostly my junior, some of them may be my at same age, or some of them very, I mean, little senior only. So all our galaxies in their respective field, all are their stalwart in their respective areas. And the idea behind this association, that lot of Ramakrishna Missionians, they are settled abroad in India, they are doing very well but not connected with each other. That this effort, which has been taken up by our distinguished colleague and friends, brothers, now we can integrate all these Ramakrishna Mission alumni associations under one umbrella with a common aim. One is to help each other to make a solid block where the interest of Ramakrishna missionians in abroad interest of India, society at large, and individuals whenever they go somewhere, initial help, like other community they do. Generally, we have everything but lacking of that kind uh, of help, helping nature we do lack. So we'll expect that after this association and formal formation, it will take off and we'll contribute at least I'll also contrib contribute whatever I can do, contribute to this uh, society, this alumni association, alumni association, so that it becomes a almost theoretical monolithic body, which will represent not only Ramakrishna mission, but India, the schools, that culture. I'll not elaborate much. <coughs> we have all distinguished guests here. Once again, I welcome you. Welcome to India. Welcome to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Not only as a student also, but being his son also. So I'll welcome you in our one of the biggest house India is ever having. And uh, <clears throat> I wish all you all the best to you, your family. I'll also request you, I think it, arrangement has been made that authorities that after that meeting, that will they'll take around this Rashtrapati Bhavan and Mughal Garden, etc. One second, I thank you very much. I am grateful and thankful to the Honorable President that he has granted us time. And all of you who have come all the way from different corners of this country and this, uh, in this world. One second, I thank you and conclude. Arkham alumni, worldwide level, we are planning to work. The mission statement is as follows, but not limited to. Provide support to orphans, underprivileged, needy children and their education. Provide mentorship for needy students, underprivileged orphans, and after they are passing out of 10th and 12th standard, provide support 
for RKM alumnus worldwide, uplift women emancipation and empowerment, facilitate protection of Indians worldwide, including RKM alumnus, provide assistance to newly arriving RKM alumnus in any state of or country in matter of housing, immigration, legal help, guidance, etc. Provide basic shelter support for needy and underprivileged people, young, aged, senior citizens, including RKM alumnus. Facilitate clean drinking water and food for needy and underprivileged people. Organize basic health care for needy and underprivileged people. Create awareness about the negative effects of smoking drugs and alcoholism, promote awareness about alternative energy, reduce carbon footprint, and also provide solar alternatives to needy people. So those are our mission statement. Now the idea of creating a worldwide forum or a platform was very much needed to bring all the highly accomplished Arkham alumnus under one roof. But more importantly, for the Arkham alumnus who needed the help but unfortunately failed to receive any. In USA, I was present in a delegation to Capitol Hill to talk to the congressmen and senators about the research, development, funding, and science, technology, engineering, and mathematics program. On the same light, I would like us to talk our representative about the issues in our socioeconomic society so that we can address the issue in our present society and can eradicate them by root cause by planning proper policies. I don't want to suppress the problem, but to resolve it permanently. It was quite like sweet and chili path from almost a year or so. I got a lot of support from in this effort and a lot of people opposed me. i thankful to those who supported me and also thankful to them who opposed me because that made me more determined to work harder. I'm very much thankful to Sri Shantanu Mojinder for his early support and also thankful to Debashish Rai for his early encouragement. I'm very much thankful to see Jaydeep Mukherjee to lead us in this path as president. I'm thankful to see Shubhajit Majumdar to believe in my vision about Worldwide Arkham Alumni Association and appreciate the great support and effort Sri Angshuman Bhattacharya in this endeavor. I'm greatly appreciative to Sri Shujay Sina for his selfless contribution and support to keep us on track and avoid unintentional legal mistakes. Thankful to the support of Dr. Kallan Chakrabarti and Dr. Tapinda Malik. I'm thankful to see Sumit Chander for his enormous support in creating our website and web address, worldwidearkmalumni.org. Thanks to Sri Rahul Bal for taking time and submitting project for social change. Thanks to Sri Razdeep Choudhury for his support towards Worldwide RK Alumni Association. I'm indebted for the support of different alumni as organization and alumnus from different RKMs. Rahora RKM alumnus, located at Rahora, West Bengal, India, and founded by, C, by Swami Punanandaji Maharaj on September 1st, 1944. Several alumnus of the same are present here today in big numbers, as this worldwide alumni effort was initiated by Rahora RKM alumnus. Narendupur RKM alumnus, located at Narendupur, West Bengal, India, and founded by Swami Lakeshananandji Maharaj in 1943. Sri Rahul Bal, alumnus of Rahura, Narendupur, RKM is present here with his family. Puruli RKM alumni, located at Puruli, West Bengal, India, and founded by Swami Hiranmaya Nandaji Maharaj in 1957. Sri Amrutajoy Basurai, Sri Bipla Roy, Siddhipanjan Mondal are present here today in capacity of members of the Alumni Association. Sri Amrut Tojoy Roy and Sri Dipanjan Mondal are present here today with their families. Sargachi RKM alumnus, located at Sargachi, West Bengal, India, founded in 1897 by Swami Nandaji Maharaj. This is the first and oldest RKM. Sri Ashit Kumar Chatterjee. Sri Santosh Kumar Ghosh. Sri Rathindanath Mondal are present here today in capacity of President, General Secretary, and Treasurer of Sargachi Alumni Association, respectively. Sri Santosh is accompanied by his son. Along RKM alumnus located at Along Arunachal Pradesh, India, we appreciate the support of their alumni association. 
Baranagar RK Malumni, located at Baranagar, West Bengal in India and founded by Swami Atmananandaji Maharaj in 1912, Sri Shamal Bhattachari, Sri Vishwaduk Bhattachari, Sri Swastik Chaudhuri, are present here today in capacity of General Secretary, Assistant Secretary and member of the Alumni Association respectively. Ramharipur RKM Alumnus, located at Ramharipur, West Bengal, India, and founded by Swami Maheshwara Nandaji Maharaj in 1943. Sri Achintapain, Sri Suprahat De, Sri Anjan Sharaf, are present here today in capacity of members of the Alumni Association. Deoghar RKM Alumnus, located at Deoghar, Jharkhand, India, and founder secretary was Swami Sadbhavanandaji Maharaj in 1922 by blessings of Sri Saradama, Sri Raja Chakrabarti, and Sri Vinay Shubishki are present here today in capacity of Honorable Secretary and Member of the Alumni Association respectively. Jhargam RKM alumnus, located at Jhargam, West Bengal, India, and undertaken recently by Belur Mott Mission is also along with us. I'm indebted to my mother, father, and wife for all their support. Now let me introduce our president of Worldwide RKM alumni, Mr. Sri Jaydeep Mukherjee. Please welcome Sri Jaydeep Mukherjee, our founding president. In 1976, he passed his secondary exam from Rahor RKM Boys Home High School and stood first in West Bengal. He passed his highest secondary exam in 1978 from Hindu school and stood first again in West Bengal. He got the rare credit to stand first twice in secondary exam and high secondary exam in the state of West Bengal. He also passed in flying colors his BTEC from IIT Kharagpur and Nimtek from ISI Kolkata. He worked long time in the director role at PricewaterhouseCooper. His love for his student and teaching encouraged him to work currently as a professor at Praxit Business School, Kolkata, where he teaches data science and analytics. Please. Honorable President, the purpose of forming Kolkata Ramakrishna Mission Worldwide Alumni Association is to build a worldwide network and integrate the alumni of different Ramakrishna Mission institutes on a single platform with sole objective of rendering social services. This has already been mentioned by Mr. Obhijit Mukherjee and Mr. Bithur Manaji. I am ha happy to express that we have already received positive responses from several Ramakrishna Mission alumni for different RKMs. Some of them are present here on this auspicious occasion, Honorable President, to celebrate the formation of Kolkata Ramakrishna Mission Worldwide Alumni Association. It is amazing that the project proposals we have received so far span across several districts of West Bengal starting with Middapur, Murshidabad, Bardwan, Bakura, South 24 Parganas, and then others. I, on behalf of the Alumni Association, would try my best to extend our social activities in other states over the next several years. Thank you, Mr. Obhijit Mukherjee, Dada, for facilitating us to express our mission on a forum like this. I am personally very much excited about the proposed projects and would seek Honorable President's blessings and best wishes in our future endeavors. Thank you for your kind attention and hearing, sir. Honorable President, sir. I feel immensely honored to present before you a brief on different project proposals that have been submitted to us. The first project proposal is from Ramakrishna Mission Vidyapit Purulia, West Bengal. The objective of the project is to render free medical services in the remote areas of the district of Purulia by conducting around 50 medical camps, each camp catering to 150 beneficiaries. This effort would be continued every year. 
The next project proposal is from Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, Shargachi, Murshidabad, West Bengal, on a special program involving free coaching for children coming from poor, backward, and downtrodden families. It has been proposed that multiple centers will be run with more than 600 students. Study materials, school uniforms, hygienic care items, etc., will be provided to the students. Another related proposal has been submitted by an NGO named South Kolkata Mile Mishe, which aims to support as a pilot project a core group of 15 students in a village in the district of Bordhoman, West Bengal, in regards to education-related supporting activities like providing books, notebooks, tuition fees, and dresses in the first year. This project is expected to expand in scope and services in subsequent years. We have also received a proposal from Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, Jhargram, in the district of Midnapur, West Bengal, for supporting tribal students with quality and value-based education. In this context, the ashram is going to take up new projects for benefit of the populace of Jongol Mohol. Work for projects like mobile laboratory, non-formal school, and free coaching center will be started. The president of our alumni association has already volunteered to support a student with the related costs on a continued basis. We have another proposal. It is from Mr. Shubhajit Paul, an alumnus of Ramakrishna Mission. The proposal is about increasing awareness on autism spectrum disorder ASD through conducted programs in associated with NGOs, experts, medical professionals, schools, and other social bodies. The next proposal is about setting up and operating Aragam Smart Clinics in the district of Bakura in West Bengal. The objective is to set up and run 14 telehealth enabled outpatient clinics centered around two community hospitals connected to a clinic facility in Kolkata. Mr. Partho Chakraborty, an alumnus of Ramakrishna Mission, has submitted this proposal. There is another proposal submitted by a group named Desher Mati, formed by a few Ramakrishna Mission alumni. The project aims at multidimensional village development at rural areas under coastal saline zone in the district of South 24 Pargunas, West Bengal, through agriculture, nutrition, and health-related activities. The next project is on women empowerment and economic independence through training, organizing machinery and raw materials, facilitating introduction to vendors, and also guiding, monitoring, and rewarding. This project has been submitted by Mr. Shudip Shah, a Ramakrishna Mission alumnus. A few more projects proposals have been submitted by Mr. Rahul Ball, a Ramakrishna Mission alumnus. These are one initiative on decentralized education governance in rural and slum areas in India. Number two, skill development and community resource center for involving urban slum dwelling youths. Number three, sponsoring less privileged young sportsmen by helping them to get sports equipments organizing quality coaches, exposing them to international opportunities, etc. We are expecting a few more project proposals in near future. Finally, I must share with you that Mr. Joydeep Mukherjee, the president of our alumni association, has donated rupees 20,000 for instilling in the minds of young students of Ramakrishna Mission a love for mathematics through aptitude tests and merit awards. We shall start with one Ramakrishna Mission school and then replicate in other Ramakrishna Mission schools. Honorable President, thank you for your patient hearing. Good afternoon. I welcome you all to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Many of you may be aware of the history and other related matters of this house. In one way, 
This house is the monument of contemporary India. As it has witnessed in very quick succession the end of 190 years colonial rule of India at the midnight of 14th, 15th August 1947. And it also witnessed the transformation of a colonial administration into a republican administration through a wonderful constitution which is considered as one of the most significant socio document of socio-economic transformation. Though it was constructed by the Britishers in the last days of imperial rule, but they did not think that their regime is coming to an end so soon. So, in between the two world wars, the capital was transferred from Calcutta to Delhi in 1912. Actually, decision was taken in 1911. Actual transfer took place in 1912. And the building was contemplated then, but it took some time. In between, First World War came, so the process was delayed. And finally, the first occupant, Lord Arwin, entered into this building in March 1931. But the stay of the British Governor Generals had been short, only five from Lord Arwin to Lord Mountbatten. In between, Lord Willingdon, Lord Lithgow, Lord Wavell, and the last Governor General was, he was Governor General, not President, last Governor General was Indian, Rajagopal Ashari, for little more than two years. Then we had Presidency. I thank you for making an effort to bring under one umbrella the very alumni of the various Ramakrishna Mission institutions spread all over India. Ramakrishna Mission, the very word, is emotive and immediately it kindles some ideas. There are some words which go beyond their etymological meaning and convey a deeper sense. Ramakrishna Mission is one such word. And I am happy that you have thought of it. Various developmental welfare projects you are undertaking. But much more important is to have the identity as the alumni of the Ramakrishna Mission institutions, wherever it may be located, it has one common objective, and that common objective is not only to make persons literate, but make persons educate, and to make them real men and women who can develop their personality and character under the educational systems of the Ramakrishna Mission. You are the products of that. I have great confidence and, and, and in fact, one point of time, I was truly believing that it would have been much better if the entire system could have been handed over to them to run. But there are difficulties. But they are doing excellent job in different parts, which you have mentioned. Many of them I have visited. I have gone 
in different parts, visited your institutions, and I had the privilege of having interaction with the mission's authorities in different parts. And it is highly inspiring and enlightening. So as ex-students of these institutions, as alumni, you are organizing yourselves, I wish you all success. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.